There are some tricks that I want to share with you and this is going to help you boost your increase for your event business. So if you need some help with some increase, <laughs> please keep watching. Hey everyone, my name is Justine Jordan and I am an event marketing business coach here to help event designers just like you book your dream clients through lead generating content creation and marketing strategies that are going to help your event business. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's begin. So I've been in the business a few years and actually I've been creating content since 2017. That's when I first started my video. <laughs> Don't watch it. <laughs> However, I have learned some tricks that have increased, increased, not just for my balloon business, not just for my coaching business, but for event designers and CEOs just like you. The first thing that will definitely boost up some increase for your event business is the thing that saves you the most time. So a lot of things that we mentioned here in this video are going to save you a lot of time. It may be more work in the beginning, but trust me, you'll want to do them in order to increase those increases. So the first thing you definitely need to do is automate your posts on Instagram and or any other social media. Now I know what you might be thinking, okay, everyone talks about it. Yeah, but how many of people like you do actually do it? I've seen so many CEOs, not just in the event industry, but all over, because I'm surrounded by entrepreneurs all the time, and they don't automate their social media posts. And I'm like, why, why, why? Just do it, it saves you so much time. All you have to do is spend one or two days per month, batch all of your content for the month, and then literally set it and forget it. So that way you can focus on more about growing and scaling your business versus spending time posting every single day or as frequently as you want, maybe three to five times a week. Using scheduling apps such as Planoly and Later will definitely save you more time. Plus, these two are definitely recommended by Instagram and Facebook as a way that they incorporate the scheduling time that your audience is on, hashtags that really get you in front of people, and utilizing their platform to schedule your posts. I've used Later for years and I actually got reintroduced to Planoly recently through another friend. I think both scheduling apps are really good. There's also the business Facebook suite that you can use or the Creative Studio that is offered through Facebook for free. However, Later and Planoly allows you to schedule out Instagram Reels as of 2022. I thought Facebook business suite had it and then it, they took it off. So as of right now, it's not my number one recommendation. If you wanted to use Later, for your your event business feel free to click the link i have a coupon that can save you some money if you use my affiliate link that helps me grow on this channel remember i'm not here to sell you the easy way i'm just here to get you more money in the door and saving you time is essentially the best thing to do until you're able to distribute your duties to your team once you are at that point of revenue so it's not really about the amount of frequent times you post it's more about how consistent you are usually consistency is key when it comes to growing on platforms like instagram facebook or tiktok but my recommendation is to maybe strive for three to five times a week depending on where you are in your business you should definitely use one month or one day in the month one or two days to schedule out all your posts and your reels to then be pushed out automatically so it saves you time so that way the rest of the month we can solely focus on sales driven tasks because that's the most important right you have to make money in your business all right another way that you can increase your inquiries within your event business specifically using social media is optimize your instagram bio when it comes to optimizing your instagram bio a lot of people miss out on a certain framework when it comes to their bios optimizing your bio is real prime real estate on social media, especially on Instagram. The first thing a person sees is your picture and your profile and your link in bio. And if it's not optimized to ensure that you can solve a client's question or problem when it comes to the event, they will skip over you and go on to someone else. Some people I've seen only have like one sentence with no call to action and there's no clear direction of their services are. If you own a balloon business, then you need to be able to state that in your bio. If you offer certain Certain customized services like baking or customized treats you need to put that in your bio these are very important to people who land on your page because if they don't know what you do and what you offer on to the next one another thing is you want to make sure that your Instagram is optimized to your dream client not just any client this is the reason why you guys are probably attracting people who don't want to pay services you want to be clear on the words and be very intentional 
with what you're showcasing in your bio that speaks to that dream client. If you don't, honey, people will come into your world and not be able to afford your services. Now, it doesn't mean that everybody who DMs you or who inquires about your services is a dream client because not everybody's gonna go straight to your profile. However, you just wanna make sure all places that people find you is optimal to that specific dream client so that way it funnels and fuels and attracts those clients who are worth your time. The next thing you should do when it comes to boosting your inquiries for your event business, these real big tricks that gets slept on a lot actually it doesn't get slept on a lot but i will say this some people do forget about this real estate <laughs> and that is adding a link to your instagram bio now for obvious reasons you guys are probably hearing me utilize instagram 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 in my coaching program party like a ceo i focus on instagram instagram is the main platform that i tell my designers to use to attract and book their dream clients. It's the easiest way and the fastest way to scale while you're a solopreneur. So that's why these tricks work. Why is the link in bio so important? Well, it's where you can put your website. Remember what I told you, someone lands on your Instagram profile, they see your picture, they see your beautiful bio, and now the next thing they wanna do is they scroll down, then they come back up and they're like, huh, I wanna get to know you even further. So from Instagram, you can send them through your website and then take them on the journey of what it's like to book your services and I will say this if you're just getting started just know a website is not important however the designers specifically in my program I always tell them hey we have to start DIYing a website in order to attract these clients that you want for your business who are able to afford your services so they implement it they DIY and they put it in their bio on Instagram so they're always fueling the dream clients in a process that gets them to book their services however for those of you who I've seen before right and who are growing pretty quickly if you guys have been getting clients and you're ready to scale up and grow this is exactly what I focus on in my private coaching you're going to want to hire a website web designer to transform your website because there's just so much DIY we can do some people are doing really well if you check out Amber right here she's done a phenomenal job at DIYing her website and it's gorgeous but I want to take her website and just transform it into such a grand experience with her dream clients and I have someone who does really great work on websites and really transforming your entire brand. If you're interested, I'll leave some of her information down below in the description. Feel free to let her know you found her from Justine. Make sure you say that because she'll take care of you. The next trick that really works to boost your inquiries is Instagram highlights, okay? I, like I said before, Instagram is like my go-to tool because it's so easy to grow on there. We don't want followers that don't buy. <laughs> so I'm not worried about the followers. In fact, none of my designers ever hit a 10k like following and didn't make money in their business so just know you're not alone with it but we don't worry about vanity metrics here we only worry about making money the highlight section is such a underrated section on social media this is where people can find out who you are and they dive really deep with you in your highlights. I always tell my designers, post everything on their stories, post what's going on and behind the scenes, answering emails, doing invoices. In fact, I kind of went over that in this video right here, so make sure you go check that out. But I was just telling them that you wanna make sure to optimize that stories because all of that information and all of that experience can be now utilized in a highlights to give your dream clients who are potentially interested chance to view what you do in real time. This is a great way to build a strong relationship without actually you being there to build it. The next trick that can instantly boost your inquiries for your event business is the description box or the captions. So on Instagram, as of right now, remember things change always, but people with lower followers actually have more of an advantage in the algorithm on Instagram because Instagram wants to push smaller accounts. They want to help you grow. So guess what that means for you? If you're a small account and a small business owner, this is a huge thing to take advantage of. And by doing so, because Instagram is becoming an SEO platform using the description in your Instagram posts, in your Instagram reels, in your Instagram 
videos, whatever, is essential for getting in front of people who don't normally see your work. Make sure you're writing a thoughtful, highly searchable description for your post. This will help generate Instagram into knowing what kind of keywords tend to associate with your business profile. Once Instagram knows this and any algorithm knows this, they will put your profile in front of new audiences that are interested in those type of content. That's all I'm gonna say about that. If you have any more questions, you know where to find me down below this video, ask them away. And remember, I may be featuring your questions or answering them in the next video and it really does help me to give content of what you guys want. The next thing that I want to share with you when it comes to the tricks that really boost your inquiries when it comes to your event business is consistency versus frequency. Now, I mentioned this earlier in the video, but I will reiterate, it does not matter how frequently you post. All that matters is that you're consistent. You have to worry about the viewer versus the views. And a lot of people get hung up on that. They forget that, oh, there's an actual person who's actually liking my picture, my video. And they get so hung up like, oh my God, I only have two likes. Oh, oh my God. I only have 10 views. That's 10 people that took advantage. 10 people might be the right fit person for your event business. Why would you disregard that? If you're tired of making posts and videos and like, oh my goodness, Justine, if I have to make one more reel, I'm not going to survive. Well, you might not. To be honest, video is king on all platforms. I hate to say it, the only place where it's probably not king is on a podcast, but even podcasts, people know they're starting to put their podcast on YouTube because video is a very different experience versus audio. So just know that video is not going away. You guys need to make it work, make it happen, and start making money because inquiries eventually turn into sales and that's where I want you to be. Instagram doesn't have to be a hard platform for you to grow on. In fact, if you need additional help, I created this video right here where it talks about all the Instagram hacks that you can do in your event business right now to help attract and book those dream clients. So if you want, be sure to check it out. Continue designing your dreams into reality and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye! Lead, book more of their dream clients. And with, oh my God, I gotta do it again.